Okay, what's up guys, it's uh, Turner here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how you use the install group manager for Bucket. Uh, now this will work with any version as long as it's uh, compatible with the Bucket version. Um, and that will say on the page. Um, but I'm doing this because, yeah, lots of people have problems with it and it's actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Um, all the links I will have in the description as always and there will be a few important ones as long as the normal links. Uh, so if you want to, if you're first time installing it, uh, I'll leave you to the essential wiki uh, and then a download hub or portal and you just want to download the group manager from right here and it will essential group manager and save it in your plugins folder. Now once you open that up, you're going to want to extract here and you'll get group manager. Yes, <laughs> it is only one plugin. Um, so yeah, it's not, they used to have two, but they don't need that anymore. So now it's only one. Uh, so now what you're going to want to do is just start your server. Let it load all the libraries. Okay, so it's done. Now if I do, uh, what I want to do is just stop the server. So stop. Now go to your plugins, your manager folder. Now we'll go over some simple stuff really quick. Okay, the config. You don't normally don't you normally don't want to touch this. Uh, I mean you don't need to. You can if you'd like, but you really don't need to. Unless you want uh, like certain mirrors. Like, say I have a world named uh, I have I have a creative and I have a survival. Now for those two for those two different worlds, usually you do not want to have the same ranks. And I'll show you how to do that really quick. Uh, so let's say your survival world is called survival. Well, actually world, we'll leave that world. So you, that's how you'd leave it. Um, and that has another in the end. And basically what it's saying is whatever permissions this world has, this world and this world, and then this is all unnamed worlds. So every other world that's not uh, specified in here will have the permissions from above. So if you have... Uh, if you have a creative server, not a server, <laughs> creative one world, and you need, um, want it to be, uh, like separate groups and permissions, um, you're gonna want to make it so creative. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and then that. Creative and then go down and do oh cannot use tabs at all and then it will be users and groups and then that is how you do it uh, without it um pretty simple I'm done nothing extraordinary <laughs> and of course it shows more examples down here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of that, save it, just close a few things, now uh, global groups, that was a weird noise, uh, global groups you can set up like, a lot of them come predefined, so I'll show you once I open up the actual file, it'll sh I'll show you what these mean, uh, so global, that's what the G stands for, I'm assuming, um, and it will say like the bucket, uh, it'll say like the plugin and it will say like the level of what they should have like moderator or admin uh, essentials default builders um, moderator and it just has some commands that they could be used but of course you'd probably want to do that all yourself um, just right in there and figure out what you'd like backups are where the backups are stored but you're going to want to go into worlds and this is where you'd have like your regular world or your creative world and that's where you put in your permissions so we'll go in world and we'll go in groups I'll make this big okay so basically uh, I do not have a uh, you need essentials chat or a similar plugin um to have the prefixes show up right uh, I do not have that so I'll talk about the prefixes but they will not show up just to forewarn you guys 
Now, this is what I was talking about, the group manager bucket essentials townie. Um, that's the inheritance. Uh, that's how you do it if you want to just inherit one of those. But I don't, so... You just do that. So let's uh, let's get rid of all these. Actually, not all of them. Let's get rid of all these. So we have a default and we have an owner. Uh, the default. This is the rank name. Default if if it is the default rank. Uh, true or false? If false, it's not. Um, but then you have to have another one that is true, <laughs> otherwise it will give them a, like a random rank when they join. Uh, permissions, you're going to want to hit enter and then backspace. Um, y, YAML, you cannot do N to uh, tabs, I mean. It will come up with an error. You can only space. And I have to go all the way back now. You can only space. But if you wanted to, if you want to add a permission, uh, you can do the dash space and then let's say essentials dot fly even though I do not have a uh, fly plugin installed uh, oh god long day today sorry a uh, fly plugin a uh, if I don't I don't have essentials installed um but that's how you would do it and if you had like another plugin uh let's say um maybe it's like spawn dot I don't know, that's just an example uh, permission. That's how you would add them. Now, if you do not want to give a user like uh, permission, you would do this. So dash, space, dash, and then right after the permission, and that will deny that group permission. So that's a little handy way of how you deny a uh, group permission. So <laughs> pretty simple. Um, Inheritance, don't worry about since we're on our first rank. You're not going to want to have any inheritance for your first unless you have an inheriting like the global groups on uh, global permissions. So, prefix, um, you can have that whatever you want. So, like maybe default, maybe that's how it would be. Uh, again, it's not going to show up in game uh, just because I don't have a group plugin. Oh, oh god, 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 a group plugin and, uh, and a chat plugin. You need like a central's chat or I don't even know if hero chat is around anymore. One of those plugins will allow you to uh, have the, the display thing and it'll, it should list it all list it all on the form or wiki. So if you need like if you don't want to use central's chat and want to use an alternate alternate you can. Uh, so suffix is what's displayed after. Usually servers don't really use this. Um, like for instance, my server I don't I'm not using it, but for like donators or mods or admins who still want to play the game like normally they'll get a suffix that will say like admin because the ranks use the prefix so that's how you tell um otherwise i'm not really sure what you'd had that for you could have like you could have it be like <laughs> you could have like you <laughs> i don't know um so then pretty much there's your first rank you created. Now let's say uh, we wanted another rank um, called uh, member. Remember, no no tabs. We're just gonna paste that down there. Rename the default to member. Where it says default, turn that to false. Otherwise, it will give uh, the player one of these two when they spawn in. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Uh. Then you go to, sorry guys, bear with me, <laughs> and then you go to permissions, um, and this is again where you'd add the permission, so let's just say essentials dot game mode one, or game mode, so I can go with game mode, so I don't know, I'm just doing kind of random ones, um, or essentials dot tp, so there's just some examples, and say I don't want to give them, uh, the nuke command. So there's that. Now inheritance, now you'd actually use this. Um, you'd want it to be, just enter, then backspace, and go back here, dash, and then you'd want uh, for say default. And that's basically saying that it will inherit this rank. So what this 
this uh, uh, group right here will get all the permissions that this group has instead of having to copy and then paste them in here it can just make it a lot cleaner and easier to use uh, prefix again I would make it member and then suffix is not a noob um, so there's that uh, and then we'll get into like an owner um, I'm not gonna really edit this but it'll say owner uh, default false permission this permission right here will give them access to all the commands so it is fairly useful uh, vanish is if you want to vanish from the server that's just denying access to that uh, which doesn't really matter but since I do not have an admin um, I'm just gonna make it inherit member and then that name is just uh, red even though even though that doesn't matter uh, because I don't have essentials chat um, build true uh, build I mean you just always really want to keep that to true I mean if you have a plugin that really or not a plugin if you have a server that doesn't want like the first people to build and they're like not trapped in if they can go out like wander the world I mean sure but most if you don't want the first group to build don't give them access to the world have them spawn in like a little <clears throat> tutorial area and then they'll have to walk through that, then do whatever they need to do to get that next rank. And then, so I mean, you don't really ever want to do that because then you just cause the problems in the future. Uh, but once you're done, you're going to want to save it. Go back and start your search. Actually, one more thing. Before, we're going to copy, go into a YAML parser, and paste it. Now this is clean. No errors here. Um, if I did have an error, I'll show you what it means. Or what it looks like that is the error uh, so it says member if it says like down here I'll say uh, member it's above that the M because it's missing uh, the little I don't know what that's called sorry <laughs> it's missing it's it's missing this last little thing right here so it doesn't know where to stop uh, so that's pretty much it's just how it is <laughs> now so I the very handle handy tool handle uh, very handy tool um, and then let's see uh, so after if that's all looking good then just go back uh, you won't have really any users um, these are just some default uh, uses that they give you uh, but say <clears throat> say you don't want to give if you don't want to give a whole group of permission but say you have a user that's like trusted or something has to be spelled correctly to I'm not going to type all this because it'll just make more noise. Um, but then you just want to basically copy it and group. It'll be whatever group they are in. So owner uh, subgroups. They'll inherit the groups, but this is their main group. So I'll have all those all these groups permissions uh, and then permissions. So if I want to give him like essentials that God and save. Um, so that's how you would do that. And it says for advanced configuration, you can go here. Which there you go, that just shows you some more um, advanced kind of things you can do. I'm not going to get in all that, but if you want to, that's open. Uh, I've already read all this, so um, pretty simple. Also, I'm not going to go over the commands, uh, just seeing as look how many there are, just like essentials. There's a lot. Uh, I'll go over like to two basic ones. Um, and that's, I guess, I'm, I'm not going to go over all of them because it will take too much time. And if you really want to know all of them, which you don't need to really, uh, that is how, except for the ones I'll tell you. Um, so let's go and let's start the server. Okay, okay, so that is done. <laughs> So join server. Uh, oh, I, I don't know why I just said that. Um, but as you see from the other, here, go, go away, go away. Okay, so I am the default group. Um, otherwise it would show uh, my tag, but I don't have essentials chat. So now if I do uh, menu, not menu, menu add uh, the user. So add magic command nine hundred two. And then the rank, so owner. Now, if you have a if you have a certain world, you can do owner and then space and then the world name, and that will do it for that world. 
And I won't have uh, my thing again because it's central strat. So there's that. But yeah, so now I'm an owner. Now I have all their ranks for owner. Uh, cause owner, <laughs> cause I'm in the owner group, so I can do slash uh, menu uh, Dell, and then or not menu Dell, menu Dell with one L, Magic Man 902. I can do like default. Sorry, menu Dell side not default, and then that will put them to the default settings, and then you just menu at them again. Um, so. That is pretty much it. Uh, very short, kind of quick. Tried to get to the point because um, I know some plugins can drag along. So I'm um, sorry if they do. Uh, I just I want to really help you and make sure they're good. Uh, <laughs> make sure they're good uh, tutorials. If it's not, if I don't know how bad this tutorial is, I just did on Group Manager like right now. Like if this is bad, tell me and I'll redo it. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I got there's a lot of mistakes in this one, and now I'm about to do it, but I don't know. So, if it's if it's not if anything needs to be explained more, tell me and I'll do it again, I'll do it over and I'll explain that uh, part more. Uh, so thank you, and I'll see you guys on uh, next video.